The McIntyre Center, for me, is something very personal as opposed to a business. It is a company that was founded by my parents back in 1985 who reached out to the community and tried to create an environment where people could heal and recover from their substance use and mental health disorders. It was unfortunately that 2011 came and went and we lost both of Kelly's parents. Kelly's mom was diagnosed at the age of 59 with Alzheimer's and three years later at the age of 62 in January 2011 she lost her battle. Six weeks after her in February 2011 Joe lost his battle uh, with cancer. I'm sure a broken heart, right, that contributed to the inability to kind of continue fighting that battle. Uh, but it was really in those moments and standing in those funerals that as heartbreaking as it was that the community came to pay their respect to Joe and Edie and really share the stories with us very explicitly of how Joe and Edie helped save their lives. And not just because they were counselors, not just because McIntyre Center existed, but really the type of people they were and the environment they created within the four walls of their business. Um, and that became the motive for us to say there's just no way we can close those doors. There's nothing like this out here in this community. As much as there's plenty of mental health and behavioral health and substance use disorder facilities, nothing quite like McIntyre Center. So our full gamut of services for somebody coming into our, uh, into our services, they're going to attend group therapy uh, early in the day. They're going to attend uh, some peer and uh, paraprofessional counselor-led uh, services throughout the afternoon and evening services. They're going to attend individual uh, counseling services. They're going to see our medical staff for any potential medical needs. Uh, if they have needs that are outside of the realm of things that we provide, we would generate some referrals, uh, whether they're things like dental or more specific psychiatric, cardiac, uh, diabetic. Um, the whole point being to help the individual heal completely. Just to see somebody's overall physical health um, which of course directly correlates to their mental health and their emotional health too. So just to see that their physical health healing is, is amazing. One of our first patients, guests that we admitted here into our Burton facility, uh, who had the opportunity to be here for two years and find healing, sadly is no longer with us. And as we were at that funeral recently, um, the parents, the family couldn't be more elated with the opportunity that they had, because this is an individual that was in their mid-40s and had never experienced longer than four months of sobriety in their adult life. They started using as a teenager. So the two years that they spent with us here, and certainly beyond after they, they left, uh, were the best two and a half, three years of this individual's lives and family life. Uh, and even though, the, again, the sadness that that person has since deceased for other health issues, that three years was the most wonderful three years that that family had. It's not only a success story in the reality of what that did in helping rebuild a family, uh, but it's a success story for us. We reached out to farmers um, to see what, explore what our options were. Stacy Johnson, uh, we happened to know for a long time, we were, we were friendly. Our daughters went to preschool together. So when it came time to look for financing, uh, we knew Stacy was in the banking business and she couldn't have been more helpful, more accommodating. She knew us, she believed in us, she knew farmers would believe in us, so it's, it's been a wonderful experience with her. Initially, uh, farmers wasn't our first you know, kind of choice. We went through two other banks that we work very heavily with and because of the unique nature of this facility, which is where all this began, uh, from a lending standpoint, being that it was a hospitality facility with long-term aspirations of turning it into healthcare, um, the other banks struggled to put those loans together. They weren't able to see the picture. Their corporate bureaucracy kind of got in the way. So it's not just the relationship and the belief that uh, we had with, with Stacy and Farmers, um, but they certainly were able to, again, get the big picture and come through uh, much more better much better than others did, uh, specifically to us, right? Not seeing, you know, kind of being able to see through that human nature, making it more of a connection of human beings working with human beings and businesses working with businesses.